Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout Speed Round, where we answer a quick question every day to keep our group chat fun going all week long. We were inspired to come up with today's question by the fact that Nicole keeps accidentally getting herself into <laughs> Facebook Messenger video chats against her will. And it got Constantly. us to thinking about recent technology disappointments. There's such promise in these things, and yet they can so often be annoying. Uh, so, um, Nicole, tell us about your technology disappointment. Okay, well, like you mentioned, for whatever reason in Facebook Messenger, it constantly starts up a video chat for me, and I, or, or else it sends a, like an emoji that's really weird and <laughs> awkward and inappropriate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in constant fear of accidentally hitting an emoji and there's no way to get rid of it yeah and you or can't a GIF. get rid of it gif I, it's far them. less forgiving than um imessage on the <laughs> on the phone it yeah. just seems like and then you can't i don't know you can't save a message and then add it like if you want to send a picture with the message you have to send the picture first and then the yes. message i don't know it that is constantly screwing me up I hate that. Isn't that awful? That, yeah. Because you like you like get the image and then you type a little description of it that's supposed to go along with it and then it's like in the wrong order or yeah. the picture appears by itself mm -hmm. and people are going, what the heck what is this? What are you this? talking about? Yeah. <laughs> and now they've got like this, like this bar of um, like cartoon figures that pops up mm -hmm. yes. that they want you to insert. And I don't know how to get rid of that. And I'm afraid I'm going to send that off like... <laughs> Like I did last week to somebody that I knew, thank gosh, but it was entirely inappropriate. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, I'm really not happy with Facebook Messenger. Calm they down, need to Facebook change Messenger. Their, yes, they need to change it. it <laughs> How about you, Catherine? What are you disappointed in? Well, remember a couple months ago, my roundabout roundup was Fitbit customer service because uh -huh. my uh -oh. old Fitbit was was acting up and it finally died and they were helpful you know figuring that out and and yeah so now i have a new one and <laughs> it only holds a charge for like 48 hours oh no oh, and that's not helpful worse than that it used to even when it was running low on batteries it would still track your steps and then once mm -hmm. you charged it it would jump up and say, oh, yeah, yeah, you have this many steps for the day or whatever, as long as you charged it reasonably soon. Yeah, yeah. But now it dies. It doesn't tell you that it's dead. It doesn't warn you that it's getting low, and it doesn't track your steps. So no. then yeah. I get very disappointed when, when I've walked for you know, oh, an hour shoot. and get no credit. <laughs> that oh, makes no. me, that is a disappointment. That is okay. very disappointing. Yes. Yeah. Well, I will say for myself, I like the idea behind autocorrect. I think it has the potential to be useful, but I do not want to fight with it. You, right. can, you can tell me, you can suggest another spelling, you can even change it once, but if I change it back... Don't change it every other time. <laughs> Trust that right. that uh, I know what I'm talking about. Right. It's I, the amount of time I have to fight with autocorrect mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Why does it do that? Why is it so stubborn? You know, I'm like uh, the other day I was typing something. I think it was for a recipe. It was panko breadcrumbs. And every time I typed panko, it changed it to I don't remember what it was, <laughs> pinky or something Panda. like that. <laughs> and so, yes, like, no, once, okay, but then you learn. Don't computers have the ability to learn? Don't they, can't they update, right. you know? Yeah. Spell check, you can say, no, this is fine, and it will leave it alone. But autocorrect is really bossy. Yeah. Stop yeah. it. It just takes away any usefulness of it. And, and you just feel like it's just lying in wait to misspell something embarrassingly if you aren't really, really alert. Right. It should be, it should not automatically change something. It should suggest stuff. So I am disappointed because I think it has such potential, but in its current hmm. iteration, it is really not infuriating helpful. quite a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't help me. Just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Let me make my own misspellings. I can defend those. <laughs> so that's it for today's speed round. Come back tomorrow for another question if the robots allow us to. And visit ParentingRoundabout.com for all our group chats and other weekly episodes.